Hey there guys, what's happening and welcome back to our channel. Because Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 had 5 separate credits and post credit scenes, it's understandable if many Marvel fans skipped through them the first time they saw the movie. The ones who left early, however, missed a surprise appearance by Miley Cyrus, the singer and actress. Was Miley Cyrus in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? Let's have a look. Number 6. MCU The Behemoth of Cinema the Marvel Cinematic Universe, or MCU in short, is perhaps the most successful film series of all time. Marvel has effortlessly turned into a behemoth of cinema with the regular production of spin-off movies with connected plots, appearances of prominent stars from other films, and even streaming miniseries. There are many Marvel characters on screen now that some performers are forced to do double duty, including Josh Brolin. Even Miley Cyrus has a cameo in the MCU and Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Number 5. Is Miley Cyrus in the sequel to Guardians of the Galaxy? In the film's post credit scene, we've seen a motley crew of big Hollywood names, including Charlie 27, Ving Rhames, crew guard the Lizard Warrior, Sylvester Stallone's character Stakar, and his wife Aletta Michelle Yeoh, Martin X Michael Rosenbaum, and a robot named Mainframe. The mainframe was invented for the film and did not appear in the comics, although the Ravagers do. Also, Miley Cyrus, the vocalist of Party in the USA, is a team member. Number 4. Who's the mainframe in the Guardians of the Galaxy? Miley Cyrus plays the robot mainframe, a concept that filmmaker James Gunn had while observing her as a judge on The Voice at the time. He stated, I find her funny and likable and sweet. I liked that she cared about the contestants, so I was like, I think she would be a funny person to have as a voice. So we contacted her and she said yes. She came in and recorded and she was a delight to work with. And if you think about it, Gunn's image of a nice and sweet voiced robot is fairly assuming. How is this specific moment trending today while Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 was released back in 2017? It all started when a Miley Cyrus fan account posted a picture of the incident on Twitter. Director James Gunn didn't waste any time retweeting the footage and tagging Miley Cyrus, who reacted by typing out her phrase with a robot image. This is a reference to the first of the five lines she says during the credits scene. Audiences may see it in the Disney Plus version of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 or even in the original tweet starting at 2 hours, 8 minutes and 40 seconds. Gunn immediately reacted with a photo of his brother Sean Gunn, who portrays Cracklin Offon Terry in the MCU, paying tribute to Yondu during his burial. He used the hashtag, hashtag RavagersForever, and the Twitter thread has gotten a lot of attention, with fans screaming more for Miley in the MCU. Number 3. Will the Marvel team of Michelle Yeoh, Sylvester Stallone, Ving Rhames, and Miley Cyrus get more screen time? Gunn stated when asked if the Ravagers might return in another film or have their solo movie. All the post credit scenes of Volume 2 are possibilities, but not necessarily promises. They are all things I would like to see happen, but I certainly don't have the time to do them all myself. But I do love the idea of more Stakar and Pals. Number 2. Where to find Miley Cyrus in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? The Ravagers, an interstellar gang of criminals, assassins, and pirates are teased in this cutscene. You know, it's a shame that it took the tragedy of losing Yondo to bring us all together again, but I think he would be proud knowing we're back as a team. Stakar, his wife Aleda Michelle Yeoh, Charlie 27 Ving Rhames, the lizard-like sorcerer Krugar, Martin X Michael Rosenbaum, whose body is constructed of silicon crystals, as well as the robot Mainframe, are the six members of this team. Except for Mainframe, each of these characters has been a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy at a certain point in the comics. I miss you guys so much, Cyrus says to the crew in the robot's voice. Number one, this isn't the first time for Miley. Dope. I miss you guys so much! Although Cyrus's appearance was a surprise to everyone and her name doesn't appear in the film's credits, this isn't the first time the Hannah Montana star's voice has been heard. For instance, an entertainment weekly guide to the post credit sequences from Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2 in 2017 stated, if you're someone like me who hasn't read 30-year-old Guardians of the Galaxy comics in a long time, you experience the scene in the following way. Whoa! 
Ving mother freaking Reigns. Whoa, Michelle mother freaking yo. Was that speaking robot Miley Cyrus? According to Gunn at the time, the inspiration for the Cyrus cameo came from seeing her on The Voice as a judge. According to BuzzFeed News, he said, I find her funny and likable and sweet. I liked that she cared about the contestants, so I was like, I think she would be a funny person to have as a voice. So we contacted her and she said yes. She came in and recorded and she was a delight to work with. So do let us know your thoughts about Miley Cyrus having a cameo in Gardens of the Galaxy Volume 2. And if you're like me, you'd be checking it out right now to see for yourself if that's really her or not. And with that, I'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now!